Okay, guys, for everyone who participated in yesterday's Oracle card poll, or today, depending on when you voted and participated, here are the card reveals. This is card one, card two, and card three. We will start with card number one. The golden unicorn represents the protector, guardian, and champion. This card comes for you when the golden unicorn is showing you a path to a person, advisor, or mentor who will assist you through the challenges that you are now facing. This card is a symbol of hope, a beacon of hope. For with the right guidance, what seems impossible can be achieved, and you will no longer feel so raw, vulnerable, and unable to go on. I apologize if anyone hears my cat eating in the background too, but to continue, this card indicates a protective energy around you, and it is safe for you to leave the current circumstances that you are under or in and create a new path. Card number two, the Fairy Godmother. This card indicates revelation, discovery, and epiphany, and this was under the Argonite Stone. Fairy Godmother comes to you when it is time for you to discover what has long been hidden to you. She helps us to reveal and have revelations of who our true self is, and also making clear for discoveries of anybody around you who has been kept themselves hidden. People finally get found out. Manipulators can be seen through. True costs of circumstances are revealed and any lies about you will be seen. This can be hard, but it is a hardship that is born of protection. You are safer for knowing in whom you can trust. Throughout these revelations and insights will be a guiding hand, and this is the Fairy Godmother. She's showing you what it is you need to know in order to create and foster a life that works for you. This card, just like similar to card number one, is also an indication of a protective force about you, but more so in the sense of discovering new things, whether within yourself or on the external, having epiphanies throughout a transformation. This energy will bring blessings, and Fairy Godmother transforms your life into one which is more abundant, magical, meaningful, and joyful. Note every moment of truth, because they are all significant, and you are better for discovering what was once hidden from you. Card number three, last but not least, is the Weaver, Fate, Destiny, and Weird. This was the card under the Shungite Stone. I will just note that WYRD, W-Y-R-D, is an ancient magical philosophy. It is both personal and global, and perhaps even beyond that, it is galactic. Every single thing in the world, seen and unseen, is connected and can have influence, one on the other, in an infinite series of variations and patterns. Your choices and actions, your thoughts and words, are important. When this card comes, it is a clear indication that fate and destiny are dancing together to form a pattern that is unique to you, and this is your contribution to the web of weird. Every action has an impact. Every choice will create results that are impossible to see, so consider the choices before you carefully, and choose what is for the highest good of all, what is most honorable and beyond the personal. Ask no one to give up their personal honor to further your own ambition. Consider the impact of your choices that your choices will have in the future. And consider your ancestors and what they would feel about your choices. Because all of these past and future family members or ancestors are all, we are all interconnected in the web of weird. This is saying with fate and destiny on your side that you will now choose well. For you are weaving the world that was, weaving the present moment, and weaving the world that shall be. Every act vibrates throughout this universe and on this great energetic web. And we are in every moment with every word and thought and deed contributing to this great grid of energy.
So thank you guys for tuning into this short pick a card video. I know I keep them brief, but if you participated, let me know if any of this resonated. We've got cards one, two, and three here again. And stay tuned for future videos, uh, Oracle card pulls. If anyone would like an extended reading, I can definitely do more and do a longer, longer pick a cards than just, you know, these like three to five minute videos or whatever. Um, so let me know how it's going, how it's going for you guys. I appreciate the feedback if it resonates, if it doesn't, um, and stay tuned for more. Thank you guys. Peace.